Kind of makes skating a little more dangerous. Like, why'd you put that on Instagram, bro? They should have vert skating, they should have synchronized vert skating, they should have best trick vert skating. I feel like some events just have more tense people in it, and I would say skating a park contest, I always feel like, I feel like there's more people to go against, and there's a... Uh, Probably with the Olympics, well, too, yeah, it's, it's made it way yeah, more yeah, competitive than, like, like, just, like, the few contests. Everybody so, yeah. takes it so seriously. Yeah. <laughs> some park contests can be fun, feel like a cool event, but then, I don't know, a good, good chunk of them are very intense, like, it's just a lot of people taking a different approach to skating during these contests than it should be. It should just be like having fun, kind of, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah I get totally. that vibe, and I'm like glad that I don't skate in those contests, <laughs> yeah, man. Because yeah, it, it can be pretty crazy sometimes, and, especially with yeah, the Olympics and all that stuff going on. And there's just a million of them. It yeah. seems like yeah. were, last year it was just like one after another, which I guess can be good. Um, I feel like there used to be way more going on for vert, which is kind of nice. And I was then... going to say, it's better than like the one vert contest. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but now that you bring it up, if there's so many park contests back to back to back, I get kind of worn out and I feel like mm. I never don't have fun skating vert because it's almost like a rare occasion that there's X Games Japan coming up and I get to skate yeah. a vert contest. Uh, so. I'm trying to go film some clips. Yeah, yeah well, you get like <clears throat> kind of time to get <clears throat> film two contests a year as a vert skater, maybe. <laughs> They're yeah. probably both hosted by X Games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's slowly coming back. Yeah. I mean, we got Tony's. There's event. like yeah. a few Roller. things for sure popping yeah. up, but over the past like few years, like, yeah, very few events. And like, like Tay was saying, it's like the <coughs> same dudes. Kind of has been for a long time. Like we'll skate Elliot's, like, and then be in Japan on the deck of the X Games competition, and it's like the same dudes that I just like hang out on a Tuesday with. Like, we're just kind of like a pretty tight family. That's the difference with like, Park, though, is why, like, we never see most of those. Yeah, yeah. That's I feel like it's, it's like... so so different. Like, a lot of dudes are, I don't know, as a vert skater, at least for me growing up, it was, like, the goal to end up in San Diego, like, where all the vert skaters and yeah. vert ramps were and stuff. And it's, like, a lot has changed since then, but it's still kind of, like, in my opinion, held that ground in the sense of, like, a lot of vert skaters do end up here. And so, like... Yeah, they're not like spread out all over the world. Like no, a lot of a lot of park skaters. Parks and, all like, over the place, so it's and like, yeah, um, see everyone. Yeah, and with like the fast pace of park and like kids and everything, you, you're like you said, you're always seeing new people, and it's not as often on the veranda. It's like you're seeing your boys. That's the cool thing about park, though, is some are definitely more catered to the way someone will skate. Some aren't. But that's kind of the same thing with like kids these days learning the same 10 tricks is because the park is the exact same pretty much every time. That's why they're learning like the exact same tricks. It's like, oh, there's always going to be a hip. It's always going to be a bank. It's always going to be this seven foot deep end. It's always like shuffle whatever. around the... Yeah, it's just like in uh, a different... Put that park. one over here this time. Call it a different park. So maybe a little more variety in the parks would be beneficial for... You know, as much as we were talking, I feel like X Games parks are, in Japan especially, are ones that really push everyone to think outside of the box. I don't know, it's just as long as it's got, like, good coping and... For long grinds. Yeah. Good coping is Good key. coping and, yeah. like, a solid wall to do airs on and a good hip, I guess. Doesn't need much. It can be as simple as possible and it'll still be fun. <laughs> When's the last time you tried a 1080? Me? Yeah. Well, none of us have tried a 1080. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> like, eight years ago, probably? No, like, 10 years ago. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm not stepping in those waters. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like it was a goal of mine to do a nine, and then once I did it, it was like, okay, I can do it. And then it was kind of like just doing it in contests, but. It was kind of like a contest thing. I wasn't like at home yeah, doing them for fun. I mean, yeah, I would do them here, but like to practice, but. Nobody's really doing nines for no. fun. What yeah, about the tail nine? Well, that looks people. fun. <laughs> a tail nine? 
I mean, it is when you do it, <laughs> but it's, I feel like just trying it is, is scary. Now when you yeah. land on your neck. Yeah, man. I mean, that, that <laughs> slam oh that I God. took definitely yeah. kind of made me take a step back from it and be like, maybe I should. It's been some heavy <laughs> knife yeah. slams sitting yeah. at this table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, getting bodied. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe everyone kind of went through their spin thing and it's like, I mean, I don't get me wrong, it's fun. If you want me to be honest, I think Guy himself probably desensitized <laughs> the 1080. Yeah, I mean, so many people have done it, or not 1080s, but like so many people have done nines at this yeah. point, and so many little kids now. Yeah, yeah there's like kid in Japan that's yeah, like it's seven. Every, well, that's yeah, the thing. He's yeah. doing it every session, he's and it's seven. like, okay, like we get it. Like when Tony and the when Tony and the boys were battling nines, like the there was boys. not a really a child. Yeah, no. capable of like. Even doing a five. Doing that, so it's like grown men battling it out. Yeah. Which is like, yeah, in my opinion, a lot different than like the kids these days that can get a little ball and spin. You know, like, but you see dudes like Mitchie. Like, Lengthy dude. Like, that's a big dude. Mm -hmm. And like his spins and stuff is so technical. Yeah. That it's like, I don't know. You, it's hard. you can't compare one person's 1080 to another, yeah. especially in my shoes when I haven't gone to those depths. You know, <laughs> but how like, many people have done 1080s at this point? Like six, four, five. You probably count on one hand. Four. I think. Mean. You're the Tom, first, right? Tom, Jono, Jono oh, Mitchie, and, and, Mitchie Mitchie and Guy. I think that's it, right? There's got to be some little kid that's doing it. switch stuff to a party yeah let's get this party going <laughs> straight to the next party <laughs> <laughs> party in the parking lot <laughs> party in the parking more lot more vert contest yeah more vert contest. yeah it'd be it'd be cool to have vert get back to a point where there's so many events that you, you can't go to all of them i remember like for a while that was like kind of the thing or like man i can't i gotta pick and choose i can't do it there's like all these ones been in like europe for so long and now it's like you count down the days to the events yeah um so that would be one pretty cool thing i think uh i think some type of show like a netflix special could be cool like kind of the f1 thing i don't know if you skate guys to survive. skate to survive i mean that's what we were talking about earlier I, like that i didn't really f pay any attention to f1 before that oh but now it's but huge. now it's like oh my, my god it got me F1 so sucked into it and like i kind of follow it now and i think that maybe could happen if there was some type of show like that around action sports. We just gotta make skating, skating a little more dangerous and get more people into it. Like it. Bring Wait. back Mega. Bring back Mega, yeah, bring back. Uh, <laughs> bring back Mega. Although, I don't know, man. And then set, thinking, it, set the board that. on fire. Yes. <laughs> and Mega sounds so Jake gnarly now. Let's slam one more time. Let's get Jake, did he? We Let's get still Jake. hasn't handled the helicopter. The loop. helicopter <laughs> Mega loop? That's the only loop I would do. <laughs> Not the helicopter, what but is he Mega doing? loop. He had some rendering here. Yeah, it was like this giant did. lube. Like a, <laughs> a mega lube, but, yeah. but you have a helicopter in the middle. <laughs> it's like one mess up, dude. You, my, your shambles getting oh spread across God. the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most. Events, show, more money. We want more NBA food. salaries, NFL more salaries. Food. <laughs> more food. dogs. More succulent. More, more succulent. <laughs> more succulent. And definitely more food. And, uh, Good times, you More know? cactus.